After going under the radar for years, a new butterfly has been discovered in South Florida. The pink spot sulfur butterfly is distinguished by pink spots near the base of its wings and has been flying under the radar due to the resemblance of other species. It was discovered in our collections department here by Dr. Andy Warren. He was going through various different collections and decided that it probably thought it was a new species. So he sent out an email to different uh, amateur butterfly enthusiasts to look through their collections and look at their old pictures and sure enough found several people who had actually documented them in South Florida. Then he sent out another alert for people to look for specimens now in their gardens and was able to find people who had spotted them real recently down in South Florida. The butterfly rainforest located in the Florida Museum of Natural History at the University of Florida houses thousands of different species. We had started with maybe 800 to 1200 butterflies and as we increase the numbers closer to 2000 that meant that we needed to release butterflies at different times of the day. So we started with one release a day, and that one release became so packed with people because of the information we impart that we decided to split it up into three releases per day. The museum opened in 2004, and daily releases started soon after. Mike said there are only few places that still exist where you can see butterflies in their natural habitat. Situations like this where people could go see tropical butterflies have only existed for maybe the last 15 or 20 years. So the whole rainforest preservation movement is kind of a byproduct of this type of not only is the pink sulfur a rare butterfly, the butterfly species is a very delicate operation. Butterflies only fly when it's above about 60 degrees Fahrenheit. And, you know, 58 degrees on a, a clear sunny day, 65 degrees on an overcast day. So their internal temperature has to warm up to about 100 degrees before they can physically fly. So on days when it's below that temperature, we often will just take the butterflies and put them on the tree that we have in the center location of the exhibit so that people can still photograph them. And when it warms up again, they'll fly. Ryan Fessenden, the assistant manager at the Butterfly Rainforest, conducts daily releases of the newly born butterflies where the public can attend. Uh, it's a relatively simple process. We have to release our butterflies every day regardless to keep our population up uh, to do the full show of the butterfly release on the weekends. So we have to collect our butterflies which have emerged in the morning. And since we have three, we then have to evenly distribute them among our three boxes. Butterflies are such gentle, harmless creatures that seem to be so varied and, and attractive. They're uh, generally very relaxing to be about and be around and to get to enjoy them, knowing that you don't have to worry about anything. It's, it's for me, uh, that would that'd be the reason I would, I would think of, but I imagine there's a million other reasons for other people. The museum is open every day to the public with the exception of public holidays. For more information, visit their website. While the pink spot sulfur butterfly is not yet in this museum, there are thousands waiting for you to visit. My name is Rebecca Cox and it's back to you Daniel in the studio.